In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how easily you can control features of your Play Audio One U using your MIDI controller. Now for this example, I'm using a MIDI controller that has a couple faders. I'm connected to the USB host port on uh, my Play Audio One U, uh, and I'm connected to my computer here just to computer A. Now what I wanna do to show you as an example is I want to adjust the level of output one. So let's go to audio here, let's click into one. I wanna adjust uh, the output of level one uh, from my MIDI controller, one of the faders in my MIDI controller. So let's take a look at how simple and easy that is to do. So I've got my controller, I'm gonna set it on top of my rack here. Let's go into uh, our A computer. I've downloaded Oracle for X-Series, which is the free control software for my connectivity. It is loaded on my computer, ready to go. First thing I'm gonna do is go to USB host reservation. I've done this ahead of time but I wanna make sure that I've reserved a host port for my MIDI controller. In this case, I have host one, okay? So now let's go into our audio page because this is where we wanna uh, make our MIDI mapping. And essentially what we wanna control is this fader right here. So as I pull this fader down with my MIDI controller, I want it to adjust uh, the actual output on my interface. Very simple to do. Let's go to toggle MIDI learn set. Um, and then uh, you'll see anything that, lights up blue like this, we're able to mini map. I'm gonna select this fader here, and then I'm gonna move, let's choose this fader on my MIDI controller. I'm gonna move this fader on my MIDI controller, and as I do that, you'll see uh, this fader in Oracle for X series is moving there. Then let's actually take you back to uh, our rack here and show you in our Play Audio One U, uh, as I move my fader on my MIDI controller, uh, it is moving that fader on the interface, okay? So let's see if I can actually get my MIDI controller slightly in, in view here. There you go, you can see that that's changing at the same time. Now, I know what you're thinking though. You're going, Will, this is great, but you're telling me uh, I've got to keep my computer connected at all times to make this happen. Uh, you know, what if I lose connection to my computer for some reason and I still need to move that? What if you're in a setup uh, where you're not using a computer or device uh, doing all hardware performances and you still want that control? Well, what do you do then? Well, here's the beauty of this. That MIDI mapping we made while we made the mapping in Oracle for X series, let's close Oracle for X series, okay? Uh, now let's go to our rack and let's actually disconnect from our computer completely. Now, obviously I can't pass uh, audio from my computer then at that point, but my MIDI controller is still connected here, okay? And let's pull this rack up so that you can see, again, uh, the front panel of our interface here. And we want to adjust that uh, this fader here you can see we're still controlling the physical output level of output one on our interface with no computer connected. So it's truly a, a, a hardware control from MIDI setup uh, and it does not require my computer to make that happen. That MIDI mapping is physically mapped from my MIDI controller to my interface. So, uh, you know, do with this what you will. Dive into Oracle for X series, go to that audio uh, tab, Look at the different options there that are MIDI mappable and start to dream up scenarios in which you could use this in your particular setup. Now, if you need any help beyond what's covered in this video, any help maybe specifically setting up your MIDI controller, uh, make sure to click the link in the description below uh, so that you can contact support. We'll make sure our support team helps you uh, make this a success and use your MIDI controller to directly control your Play Audio One U. Most of all, thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.